The fishbone diagram, also known as the cause and effect diagram or the Ishikawa diagram, is a brainstorming tool that can be used in various places in the demaic process. In the measure phase, it is primarily used to determine the X data to collect. The fishbone diagram puts structure into the brainstorming session and ensures that a balanced list of ideas is generated and one particular area is not overlooked. Start by placing the Y metric, the effect, at the head of the fishbone skeleton in the form of a question. For example, your team may ask, why do approvals take so long? Or, why do we have so many defects in the order? Choosing the right question, or head of the fish, to begin with is the most important part of this brainstorming tool. There are three options for selecting this. One, create a separate fishbone for each goal statement on your team charter. In other words, if you have three goals, then you would have three separate fishbone diagrams. Two, pull the top two or three drivers from your schematic. If you have one goal for your project and the schematic was utilized to drill down into the major drivers preventing you from achieving this goal today, then you can have two to three fish bones further peeling back the onion on this goal and gathering more detail on the top three drivers. Three, if you have a cycle time reduction project or a lean project, you may want to look at your swim lane functional deployment process map and find the two to three steps that are taking the longest amount of time and are not customer value add. Then you can create a fishbone diagram for each of these tasks, asking, for instance, why does the request for proposal step take so long? Once you have your questions for the head of the fishbone determined, the next step is to assign the major categories or causes of the effect that will make up the bones of the fish skeleton. Now, traditionally, the major categories are people, material, machines, methods, and environment. Last, brainstorm the potential X data to collect. Typically, teams list 20 to 50 items total, but some teams have even listed up to 100 items. As you facilitate this fishbone brainstorming session in your team meeting, it is a great opportunity to invite others beyond your core team members to the meeting. If your core team is five to seven people, you could invite 10 to 15 additional people to this brainstorming session. Remember, the goal of any brainstorming session is quantity of ideas and not to evaluate the ideas. The more people you have in attendance at the meeting, the better chances you will have at generating a surplus of ideas. As we've discussed, you are encouraged to have more than one fishbone for your measure phase. To facilitate the brainstorming of multiple fishbone diagrams, we suggest posting the fishbone diagrams on flip charts or whiteboards in separate areas of the room prior to the attendees arriving. Then, as attendees arrive, distribute the group into equal subteams, one team per each fishbone. Next, explain the rules of brainstorming and how the fishbone works. Perhaps you can even show this video. Then, give 10 to 15 minutes for the groups to brainstorm on each fishbone before you call time and have them rotate to the new fishbone. As they approach the new fishbone, they should be able to build upon some of the existing ideas, possibly utilizing the five whys, and add new ideas to the fishbone. Continue to rotate the groups until all groups have brainstormed on all fishbone diagrams. Some common problems to look out for. 1. Brainstorming solutions. At this point in your project, you are looking to use the fishbone diagram to brainstorm drivers or X factors on which you can collect data to determine the major root causes of your problems. 2. Debating where an item should be placed on the fishbone. 
for example, arguing whether the item should be in people, not process. To solve this, put the item in both spots and move on. You will evaluate later. 3. Unpopulated bones on the diagram. The teams need to try and focus in on these areas to get a more complete look at all possible drivers to the problem. Finally, at the end of your meeting, be sure to recap the fish bones with each group to ensure that all understand the X factors that were brainstormed.